So there was a panel at BravoCon where Sutton, set Sutton Strack from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Katie Moore from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Lala Kent from Vanderpump Rules, Candace from The Real Housewives of Potomac, and Margaret from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. They were all, all on this fun panel again with the same host. And I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe they had the exact same panel last season, all these ladies together. So maybe they wanted to have a repeat of that. But anyways, um, so the ladies, you know, they were playing a game. Like there's a lot that happens beforehand. Um, I don't necessarily feel like covering all of that, but there was a lot happening beforehand. At some point in time, uh, they decided to play a game and the host had Lala spinning a wheel. There was like a wheel, like it's called like the wheel, the Bravo wheel or something like that. And then the, the host has to read a question um, or depending on where it lands on the wheel, um, I guess the host in that case had to read a question, right, for Lala. So the question was, uh, which one of the Bravo celebrities would you rather not be stuck in an elevator with? Which To which Lala responded, that's easy. I wouldn't want to be stuck with Teresa Judice. And then everybody was like from the crowd, oh, oh, you know, obviously, like there's like a lot of reactions in the crowd. People, Lala Kent is known to be very blunt and, you know, very honest in her delivery. And, uh, you know, it seems like her fans la liked her answer, right? And obviously, Margaret was there, too. And Margaret, given her relationship at the moment with Teresa, said something like, oh, ditto, you know, like me, too. Like, me neither, like something like that, which hyped up the crowd even more. And then Lala said, what would be even worse, though, would be to have both Teresa and Louie in the elevator with me. That would be like a nightmare kind of thing, right? And then Margaret chimed in and, you know, everybody laughed and everybody seemed to be having a little bit fun, a little bit of fun at Teresa's expense. So later on, um, Teresa had her panel, you know, that panel that I was talking to you guys about earlier on so it was during that same panel with the lady from south lake city kyle richards vicky gunvilson uh giselle and robin so um a fan you know during those moments where the fans uh they're able to go up to the microphone and ask a question well to everyone's surprise the fan was not a fan, but it was Louis Ruelas who came up to the microphone to ask a question for a housewife, for his wife, Theresa, right? And then Louis decided to ask the reversed, que the reversed question that was asked to Lala, to Theresa, okay? So remember, Lala's question was, who would you rather not be stuck with? But Louis said, uh, if you had to be locked in in an elevator with a Bravo celebrity, who would it be? So then Teresa's like, oh, okay, you know, I guess. Should I say the person that said it yesterday? And then she's kind of like trying to play like, you know, a little bit of naive. And um, she's like, well, I would say that for me, it would be Lala. It would be Lala. I would love to be stuck in an elevator with Lala. And then Louis chimed in from the crowd, from, like on the microphone, and you can hear him say, good job, good job, right? <laughs> so then Teresa says, although Lala said that she wouldn't want to be locked in with me and Louis, um, you know, I think it would be such a dream. It would be a dream. It would be so much fun. And by the way, Lala later on DM'd me privately and uh, she apologized for what she said, which was sweet. So it's all good. We're all cool. That kind of stuff, right? So that kind of makes me, I don't know, these types of interactions, they make me believe that the whole thing is fake. Because it's like, Lala, she is known to be blunt and honest and like, you know, no nonsense or, 
you know, depending. Some people think she's full of nonsense. Other people think that she is a no-nonsense type of person. So I'm just saying she's a very blunt individual or, like, character on the show. So if Lala said that, I don't think it was the meanest thing. She just said she would rather not be stuck with Teresa in an elevator and Louis. But then she goes and she knows that Teresa is probably going to see this. And she's like, okay, you know what? I was just trying to be funny. I'm sorry kind of thing, right? So... It makes it feel even more fake and it's like it almost feels like Louis was given the opportunity to come to the microphone to ask that question only for that purpose, right? Just for the purpose to say that, okay, we talked to Lala and she re she's really sorry, guys. So it's almost like they set the stage for Louis to do that so he could tell everyone that Lala had apologized to, or so Teresa could have an opportunity to tell everyone that Lala had apologized to her privately.